All right, we're recording. You need to stop the <laughs> Well, I'd be telling you every five minutes. So, I just, I'm not telling you what to do. I take that deer path. I mean, unless you think it's too easy. <laughs> People have been wanting to see us lay a track. This is a hard one. Gary's helping out. Non Carpenter is coming down tomorrow from Illinois with his bloodhound Penny. And he wanted a really hard track. So we are laying a really hard track. <laughs> And if you're watching this, I probably edited it because it's going to be kind of long and we'll probably have to stop and discuss things at times. But we've got three or four advanced checks in mind. Gary's wearing the Buck Braid tracking shoes. Got a good set of hooves. I've got some blood, but I'm not using a lot. A drop here and there. You think that's it right there? Okay. Yeah, could be. <laughs> and apologize for the heavy breathing, but this first part is a super steep hill that goes on forever there'll be a few more but nothing this bad is that it no all right well it might be uh i, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just overgrown because it hasn't been groomed in a while. It looks like there should be something through here. Um, let me have a look. We won't be this lost the whole time. How's it look going down that way? Does it look the same? And yeah. Like maybe it goes to the drive. This is, this is an old road rage. Okay. It's just not as you know what? If this isn't it, we'll just go up to a spot and we'll do our backtrack and um either way we should cross that path that goes i should have had the that bench marked better but i've only been there a couple of times but you tell me what you want i keep going straight or we could go left yeah uh, let's let me look down this way we're at a we're right about at your line okay yeah let's try it left yeah the worst thing is it's not it and we'll we'll still find the path that goes across if you're gonna cheat in a certain direction i'd cheat right this way uphill well i mean uphill but that you know way. if the if it looks like you know is this the path or is that the path go that way okay. <laughs> that kind of thing and you're like oh great i drove all the way down here and al doesn't even know where he's at 10 minutes into the track <laughs> which happens yeah this might be it right here up to the right it almost looks like it's a path I'm thinking up through here maybe you think no either way it's a track we'll get there we just have to remember what we did. How's it feel? Have you have you gone up hills as steep in those buck braids? Yeah, it's the downhills. Too. Yeah, no doubt.
I'm gonna put one drop of blood on this log. Okay, two drops of blood. Wow, it's really hard to tell. Let's keep going towards the right a little bit. You're right. If Claire was here, she'd find it. Yeah, I think this is the trail right here. So we were pretty close to it. Like, I think I'm on it. Not that you have to be. Well, I mean... Well, we're going to have to take a left here somewhere. Yeah, but... Uh, I think we'll see a trail just like this that goes left. I could be wrong. But if not, we'll bushwhack right through it. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if the dog really takes that little left jink. Let's go up here and look for that bench. I'll bet this is close. This is the top of the hill. Yeah. But I mean, it doesn't start dropping way off. I put some blood on that log. Don't ask me why. Just kind of. Where do you want to I just keep going through here, where it looks like the bare area. Kind of looks like a trail that. And you know, bottom line is. If we don't find the bench and we don't find the trail down, we're still going to turn. But, but we're going to do the backtrack first. You see the bench? Oh, the trail that goes left? Okay, so just go past it. Go through it. Don't you want your that way? Well, we're gonna Not go. Map, you no, we're gonna go up here and then backtrack to here. Okay. So you need to punch in here until I don't know 30, 40 yards. Right, Pick a spot in there. You want me to backtrack on the track? Yeah, I think I would. And we won't use. We're gonna use a spot of blood right there on the line. But then the hoof scent will go up where Gary goes. And he's going to turn right back around. Pick a spot that you'll remember. <coughs> Sorry about the coffin. So Gary's about, I'm going to say he's 30 yards from me, and now he's walking right back on the exact same line. Now, um, a lot of times dogs just treat these as turns. That's why I'm not going to put any blood after the turn. We're just going to use the hooves and walk right after it. Um, I mean, I might put a little blood, 10 or 15 yards down the line, just to Maybe confirm. Okay. So then, boom. And I'm not going to use blood to... We maybe get 20 yards, 15 yards. And then I'm going to put one or two drops out. We got a ways to go. This is. We're not even done with the first part yet. <laughs> Backtracks are fun when the dog falls for them in the real world or on practice tracks and then uh, recognizes and corrects and comes back. Uh, more often than not, they now just treat it as a turn and that's what happened with Penny on this track. Uh, she pretty much blew our backtrack away well, by just turning left down this trail. Um, we but we tried. Right yeah, I know I did. So, at some point, we definitely need to go down like an ungodly steep hill. Um, That's got to be that. Yeah, let's do it. And if it's not, 
we still got a track, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> we haven't gotten to our next advance check yet anyway, so good? right now, the yep, you're good on that one. You're good on that one. Squirrel hunters, Al. <laughs> there were squirrel hunters here. I walked over about 15 or 24 times, Al. Yeah, I know. There's, uh, the guy that owned this property was a really big hunter. And the, yeah, now it's going to just go straight down. I wonder if he's expecting us to go that way. I wonder if we don't go that way. Totally up to you. You call it. Veer off whenever you want. Go halfway down the hill and veer off. Just don't veer too close to the original line. But you got veering. I mean, you could veer 10 yards, you know. But either way, this gets steep as hell. It'd be, it'd be an easier trip down the hill if we veer off. <laughs> okay. Pick a spot that you'll remember. <clears throat> and I'll use a little bit of blood after we veer off. Uh, Gary couldn't stand staying on the trail, so he veered off into the weeds here, and we went down the incredibly steep hill, um, mostly off the trail. Um, the Penny initially passed by this little spot where we veered off and uh, threw her head up and came back on her own and located this spot and then uh, followed the line down the hill uh, with no help from us or the handler. Take it slow, Gary. I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, you know what? Claire said I should have gotten one for you. We got a bunch of them at the house. Yeah, and like I said, you can go sideways. The corner, you can kind of see the corner of that field. And you don't obviously don't have to come out right at the corner. I just want to stay off that path. Yeah, I hear you. Man, I can't believe you're doing that. I'm having trouble staying upright without the tracking shoes on. I promise you the camera doesn't do this hill justice. You could you could actually slide down this hill on your butt. It's so steep. <laughs> Honestly, I was I was thinking about this part of the track as a warm up. Other than the backtrack. <laughs> I don't know if we got that look in the camera, but. <laughs> yeah. The things you don't do for friends that want a hard track for their dog. Actually, I'm glad Gary came down. This would have been just a bone cruncher. I probably would have had to use a tracking stick on these hills. Gary can do whatever he wants when he gets to this field, but I was thinking just straight across diagonally. It's a recently cut hay field, and there's two more of those that he can do. We're going to put a scent pool in one of them. 
he can do whatever he wants when he gets there, but we're going to end up in the caddy corner and take a little drainage ditch into the creek and then walk up the creek a ways, actually downstream, uh, and then get out on the other side, which would be considered an advanced check, a surface challenge. You know, and tracking the obvious answer is usually best. The deer walked right across the creek, but this deer didn't. Or he hasn't yet. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just a whiner. You're doing all the work. I'm hesitating to say that wasn't so bad because I don't have the shoes on. <laughs> Penny had no problem uh, getting down this hill. She went straight down the line, um, down to this open field. And when we get to this field, all we do is make a straight line across for the opposite uh, we'll corner the before we get change. to the second advanced check. So takes his line uh, out in the field, I'm gonna cut this part out uh, or speed it up and uh, pick it up from uh, where we <laughs> yeah, enter and uh, begin <laughs> laying quite. the yeah. next advanced it's check the down onyx, the creek. Right? We laid this track out roughly on the onyx using the line distance feature track. Come up on the second so edge. we're getting to the point where we're going to get to the yeah, other corner of, the f these, of this cut field here. Penny had to work really hard going across this sun. as we expected any dog to after it's been Bacon in the sun for 15 hours and the wind acting on the scent and the scent yeah, we'll be on the other having side more of, the of a chance to dissipate. She pinballed around a little bit, but moved in the general correct direction after hitting the edges of, of the scent and coming back. And <laughs> it's awful she finally made here. it to this cut here and uh, worked it out that we walked down this uh, stone uh, tributary to the creek and started the second advance check. The Buck Braids. You know a guy's serious when he goes, has his name engraved on the back of his Buck Braids. Signature series. <laughs> the Gary Blessing Signature Series. Yeah, nobody would buy it. So right, see that right there, Gary? That little hole right yeah. there? You're going to go down two feet and hang a right into that okay. drainage ditch, and that'll take you to the creek. Right. And then when you get there, we're walking, I mean, it's 15 yards. It's through some stuff, but we can do it. And we get in the creek, we're going to walk down the creek downstream to the right You've been here well probably the dogs they probably use it as a pass through but you're not going all the way across you're going yep. yeah and I am gonna cut Don and his partner some slack here and put out some blood down this ditch not a lot yeah and it's up to you as far as walking in the water I like to touch the hooves on some rocks and ground and, you know, just to be positive. We got some solid scent in there. This, uh, being this dry with these rocks, that can be tough. Not a lot of scent transfer. And it doesn't hold it very well. Now, I mean, you could actually just walk through that mud if you want. I mean, it'll be pretty obvious. Go to the middle there. Yeah, I mean, you're trying to make it hard, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, if I hug the bank, he's gonna see it in the, in the sun. Right, right. 
I mean, I I would do that if I was if it was here with Val, but I already know the track because I laid it. You know what I mean? What was your idea through here on the edge? Well, I I mean, what you could do is go in the water till you get past this mud. You know what I mean? And then walk these rocks without, and then cross cross over or or even veer over somewhere. But this is definitely going to be a scent gap for them. Turns out it wasn't a scent gap, and uh, you could actually see Penny sticking her nose under the water and uh, tracking under the water. The scent had uh, settled to the bottom of the creek bed, and she could smell it. There's no question about it. It was pretty cool. I wish you could see it. Sorry, I'm going to wait until we get up. down here a little bit before I put a drop of blood out. Just so Don doesn't cheat. Because you know, you know what a sleaze he is. <laughs> not that it's, it's not a test, you know. It's mostly just, you know, did he, did they get to this creek? And did Penny do the right thing and he believed her? Or did she do the wrong thing and he didn't believe her? I mean, it's, if it were me, I'd go, I mean, I'm not telling you to do this, whatever, you, you know, you're, you're as much part of this as I am, but I would go to those rocks and cross on the rocks just to give her a, a little bit of a chance, you know. I mean, we could just cross right here and see if he can figure it out, you know. I mean, see if the dog, I mean, wherever you touch. I would, I would almost rather get up on those rocks and give the dog some room to work if he's. Yeah. The bottom line is, wherever you go into the woods, I'm going to put a spot of blood, okay. right? And, and that way, you know, if he does get in a situation where he should be trying to help the dog figure out where the deer went, he'll have that spot of blood for the dog to smell. Because what he should do if, if she can't figure it out is walk up and down either side, you know. Right. But he needs to figure out that that's what he needs to do. But if he does that and it's right, I want to give him some scent in there so she can find it. If that makes sense. I know it does to you. <laughs> so it turns out uh, Penny did a lot of looking in this creek, not uh, too far away from where we entered or where we exited. Um, she eventually picked an exit that was close to, but not as far uh, oh, up awesome. or downstream as Gary exited. And uh, Dawn followed her, so we followed uh, them uh, just to see what would happen. And uh, she got <laughs> out on the too. other side and intercepted the uh, line after the now, crossing, at, at, at which hill, point uh, we just, just gave it to her and, and continued. Make it easy on you. I mean, you don't have to, you know, bushwhack halfway up the hill and kill yourself. There's probably a trail that comes down. And you don't have to go very far, but we're trying to come out over there. On the other side of the field. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be able to walk out without walking on the line. And I just gave her plenty of blood right there, so. Well, plenty is a relative word. Four drops. Yeah. I, I My guess is that's from with the original stone house. We're talking 1850s. Yeah, a guy, we got a call after we bought the place that a guy's grandmother, um, she was born in like 1921 and she's still around and she grew up in that stone house and she wanted to come see it <laughs> and i said heck yeah that sounds great so now that it's finished being restored i think we should have her back yeah and you know what you can just go in there and skirt the bottom of it if you want 
and go around the bottom side. In fact, I think you should. Just go right across this road, go right around the bottom of it. And then we'll cross that other field. That's awful steep. It's up to you if you want to do it. I'll follow for sure. But. It was very hot when we ran the actual track the next day and uh, crossing that logging Real road tempting. and intercepting the line on the other side of the creek. Lay a flat track. Uh, Penny was pretty, uh, <laughs> was getting tired and, and hot. We took a break there in the shade. Um, she laid down, got some water. When we restarted, she covered this uh, this next part of the track perfectly. And then we came out of, uh, Gary couldn't stand it, uh, so he cut up into the woods here, but um, she handled this part perfectly and then came out in the field exactly in the right spot. And we might do all um, this. And worked hard the, the same way she did in the last anyway. cut field uh, to make it across. And so we'll pick it up uh, as we uh, get to the end <laughs> of this, you. You this other field and get prepared for our uh, next advanced check, which is the scent pool. Yeah. So here we are at the end of the second cut field. It was an even bigger cut field. It took Penny a while to work it out, but she got it done to this point uh, with uh, no help from Gary or I or Don. Yeah, I smell it. You smell the dead thing? Yep. Oh, that's interesting. We'll see what happens. Built-in distraction. Ooh, it's yeah, I know. Oh, you mean the animal is? I think we should put clear up there in the morning. Yeah, right. What are you doing in the bathroom? <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be the kind of stand she'd use. <laughs> I don't see us get clear up there. No. Uh, she might if you asked her. You put a Frenchie up there if she'd go. That'd be funny. She'd stay. I don't know if she'd go, but she wouldn't try and get down. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, any deer trail. Uh, don't, you don't have to bust right in. There'll be a there'll be a trail. I mean, I guess you could bust right in there and look for one that. There's probably one that parallels the field. That's all you're looking for. You're gonna go in, see where it opens up, and even if we have to bushwhack a little bit, I'm pretty sure there's there's some decent uh, trails in there that parallel the field. So at this point, Penny missed the exact entrance um, into this uh, wood section, yeah, and just wherever uh, one but she off to was the close left. enough oh. that she intercepted the, the line that parallels the field that's back off to our left, and uh, she followed it perfectly and came back out into the field eventually. The nice part uh, so about we'll this track uh, is, either cut this clip or you know, uh, we fast get forward mode through we're it. Tests. Um, when she comes out in the field, the real fun begins with the scent pool, which was the I thought the best uh, advanced check. Like, and, is this too hard? Uh, she had to work really hard, <laughs> uh, but she got it done. Um, she did exactly what a dog's supposed to do. She uh, followed the scent around the scent pool, and you and, have to go uh, too then far. she found I mean, the one true line out of the scent pool, they, which was not on the dog exactly this turn, straight line from where we entered the scent pool. It was pretty cool to watch. It's gonna run and, right and out. Sorry, <laughs> I messed up the video, but Into the it was uh, it was pool. really fun. She did a great <laughs> job with it. <laughs> so either way, I don't think. So here we are uh, coming out of the woods towards the last cut field, and uh, we're going to get ready to lay the scent pool here. Very cool advanced check when it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, if you if you're careful about how you lay them, uh, most of the time uh, they work, and the dog has to work them out. Penny does a great job about this. Um, usually, it helps in the real world. You know, this simulates a deer that's milling around in a confined area, not as confined as just standing in a spot. Uh, you can see where that's Gary is going to walk 30 or 40 yards in uh, every direction, and I stand in the middle and squirt blood in every clock position. Um, the blood disappeared because it rained really hard overnight, and you know, Penny mostly acted in the sen pool as she did when she crossed the other two Everything cut fields. So it's not surprising that Don didn't know it was a sen pool. But Penny eventually did what you want the dog to do, which is 
um, find the one true line out of the scent pool that doesn't have scent and blood on either side of it and follow it. And she eventually did this. It was pretty cool to watch. And again, sorry I messed the video up, but uh, we'll try it again and you'll get to see something. Let's walk right to the middle of that. Okay, and, and I'll stand there right in the middle. And then you, and I'll squirt blood every clock direction. And then you walk a 20 yard circle around me. And you could exaggerate it these directions. I'm gonna end up exiting over there. Like, yep. so just, I'm gonna stand right here. And you're just you're just a deer that's standing around in the field trying to figure out what the hell happened. Star. And this is the scent pool, and this is more for the handler to recognize what's going on and try and help his dog than for the dog to actually figure it out. Although many times we go through all this and the dog just figures it out you know walks right through it but that's why we're squirting blood all over the place because we're simulating that this deer walked all over here in this area and threw the dog a curveball But the idea is for the handler to recognize this and say, wait a minute, this looks like a scent pool. I got blood all over the place. The dog's going haywire. It's tracking behavior, but then he stops and then he stops again. And the answer is to get outside the scent pool and do expanding circles to figure out where the deer exited. And when you're going to leave, let me know. But I'm thinking, see this dead tree right here, Gary? I'm thinking wherever you leave from, head for that dead tree. And I'll catch up. And honestly, just from experience, you can't overdo these. <laughs> because, minutes, right, right, that's what happens. 80% of the time, the dog walks right through the scent pool and doesn't even acknowledge it which is why it's a good idea to exit the scent pool from a spot that's not on the line you entered from. You know what I mean? Like exit over there and head yeah. for that tree or go wet way out that way and exit. And other than the handler, there's no technique for this. I mean, when the dogs get out of a scent pool, it's because they got lucky. It's not like they know how to get it. Well, I mean, they might look farther and farther past the edges, but for the most part, they just find the exit and track out. Straight to the tree. Yeah. Ready? Yep. And when you get out of anywhere where you walked initially, I'm going to give it about 10 yards and put some blood out. And then when you get to that tree, you're just walking, there's a deer trail that runs right through this tree line. Okay. Just keep walking it until we get to that power line. There's some blood right there. <laughs> run them after dawn. I'd be too embarrassed to run my dummy on this track. <laughs> probably too out of shape to do it. Okay, thanks. I 
That's where Don will probably face plant. You say there's a deer trail in here? Yeah. Well, kind of, sort of. It's right there. You're yeah. stepping on it right now. I got it. Uh, it kind of meanders. I just wanted to stay in the woods till we, till we at least get past that power line stanchion. Penny initially, uh, after she crushes the Almost exit on the uh, scent pool, she initially overruns the turn challenge. on the steer trail, Another but creek uh, throws well, her head up and comes back on her own and uh, figures it out and heads right down the steer trail. And then uh, exits, she <laughs> exits uh, like the, right. the woods a little bit early, um, uh, but, but follows what I think is the scent line uh, all the way to the direct creek crossing and uh, finds it. Yeah, and I was follows, looking for, follows I the line right across the creek, and then she overshoots days, the turn out of the creek. Uh, but again, uh, without any help from us or Don, she corrects on her own and uh, uh, follows the line that Gary's going to lay across the creek uh, down the tree line before he gets back in you the creek. You can see that stanchion up ahead. Just any time after you get past it, you can turn or veer, whatever you prefer. At this point in the track, we're, we're over a mile in. It's a pretty tough track. You gotta be getting tired, dude. You know, it's amazing, the heat makes it so much harder. Oh, yeah, for sure. It is so much easier to do this when it's cool. Uh, probably Tony and Diane going through there on a four wheeler. This uh, farm equipment bucks. Uh, oh, the uh, the hay guy. We uh, it's kind of a symbiotic relationship. We we let him grow hay and he keeps the fields cut for us and they look pretty. So and then we have trails that go around for Claire. So life is good. Now you can go. You can go some more through here if you don't want to give it away by this tractor trail or you can just turn on the tractor trail but you're going to walk right down this opening to the creek crossing and if you want to do something goofy in the creek you can do that I... but i wouldn't turn what's that yeah it is well i mean do you think I did what he wanted? Oh, 100%. Okay. <laughs> this is the kind of line I'd like to run. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to have like a dozen people calling me wanting a line like this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lay me one of those Al Sherman, Gary Blessing, UBT 3 pluses. <laughs> and then there's a spot here. You just pick a spot, but uh, see where that little dirt path is on the other side? That's where I usually go out, but going in, you can actually cross with a vehicle over to the left, but you can walk down over here, as long as you're careful about these rocks going down. And I'll put some, I'll put some blood down on this entry. Whew. <laughs> but you know, real world, the deer's putting its feet down and we're not as much as a deer does, so putting a little blood out is only fair. Oh. 
And just so you know, I've done this in tracking shoes. <laughs> so you don't think it's, let's, let's let Gary do it. <laughs> I've done it a lot slower than you though. You're... Yeah, I'd just go up to the clearing and hang right. And then just follow the edge. Uh, no, I got two hooves. Played out hooves. I just, yeah, I mean, if you want to go this way, that's fine, but you're going to run out of, you're not going to be able to, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. That's what I figured. Yeah. Just in case he crushes it to this point. <laughs> Yeah, me too. But we might be. It could happen. Yeah, that's left over. You want that? <laughs> you can have it. It's just going to sit there. No, I... You know me. I'd rather track. I don't have time. If I sat in a stand, I'd... I'd just know I was missing a track. when we did the actual track we did run some turkeys out of this field um and penny ignored them like a champ feel so, so we, we had our uh, built-in distraction <laughs> now when these weeds end uh there'll be a spot and i might i might just run ahead of you look for it it's it may have grown up a little bit um yeah it's let me i don't want to throw him any head fakes but yeah it's right up in here this stuff grew up quite a bit but don't come in until i find it i mean either way it's, if it's what the deer did it's what the deer yeah right there okay. there's a ledge and you might have to get on your ass but there's like a little bench and then there's a step and you can see how to get down from there So we're coming no. to the end at uh, at least a mile and Track a quarter, maybe a mile and a half. Onyx said a mile and a half. This is the last the advance check. We get in this creek bed and, when you put and hang a right and go downstream out. and get in some water. And we put the hooves, we kind of hide the hooves, the last dirty trick, in a uh, root ball of a down tree. And Penny uh, just completely nails this part, finds the turn uh, into the creek, goes right on down and uh, makes the right turn beautifully and follows the creek down. and. Uh, she she indicates that she's in the scent pool, uh, but she overshoots the hooves, and it takes her a while to f to actually uh, zero in on them. I think Gary might have actually had some iPhone video that worked, and and uh, uh, after I review it, if it's if it's worth anything, I'll uh, I'll splice it in after after this video. I'm good. Either put the hill the hooves on the actual tree or like almost like right in the water on that root ball. Yeah, I like that. West wind in the morning? 
Yeah. We're only gonna be 10 yards. Yeah, I know. I worry about that a little bit, but maybe put them. Yeah, I'd put them on the limb coming out of the root ball that's in the creek. You know, the worst thing that can happen is they fall in. But, I mean, if the dog gets to this point, he's in the scent pool. Yep. Even with a tailwind. Yeah, the west wind was the only thing that bothered me. And only for the target. But I just had it in my head. That's what we were, we were doing. No, no, let's save those. I'm going to freeze them and use them. They got to be still good, don't they? Okay. Well, we'll find out tomorrow, right? Well, we've tortured them up till this point. Might as well put them up in there, you know? I don't mean... You see see that little ledge right there? That's where I'd put them. All right. So you can see them from right here, but you can't see them from everywhere. Holy shit, Gary. Man. I know the guy who I know. made him frozen. There you go. There you have it, uh, at least a mile and a quarter, maybe more toward a mile and a half, and uh, four advanced checks, lots of hills, uh, lots of heat, uh, bacon in the sun in those open fields for 15 hours, and uh, Don and Penny did a fabulous job. It's uh, really amazing to see a guy who's been tracking for two seasons with his first dog have such a great read on a dog. It just shows what... Uh, uh, social media and networking can do but All right, kid, uh, we're gonna shut down the video. this is a great track that i wouldn't want to be laying once yeah. a week <laughs> I'll edit a bunch of hope you enjoyed tomorrow. seeing it and then we'll video don and the dog running it unless it's an absolute uh meltdown but um, we'll probably edit that too and just show you the good parts all right hope you enjoyed it